Some men were born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Ooh. I was not one of those people. Were you one of those people, Ethan? Absolutely not, mate. What about you, Simon? I think that'd be very unhygienic <laughs> for a, a newborn baby to be born with a spoon in their mouth. Also, what's their mother been doing if they have a spoon in their mouth and they come out? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Actually, deep it. Saying. That's weird, isn't it? Deep it. On your, deep on your deep Levato deep shit. Your yeah. Levato shit. I was, I was well off. Yes. Thank you, Toby. Anyway, today we're looking at the... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Today we're looking at the Silver Spoon Donnies, the seven richest kids in the world. I wish I was rich. I was about to say you are rich. <laughs> I'm doing okay, I can't complain. I like to be richer. Um, what does okay mean? I can do what I want really, which is nice, right? Um, it's really nice. And I, touch wood, I'll forever be able to do, do what I want. Um, but yeah, inshallah, I can do what I want. But you know, I'd like to be on the Amalfi Coast, driving a convertible 1970s Ferrari. Uh, with a, with right, a Cuban, you, you with listen, a Cuban cigar. So you can get your dreams, you know? man. Yeah, man. But like, if I was a rich kid, then I probably already done it. But yeah, we think four minutes twenty, Toby. What's wrong with you? A lot of money. <laughs> well, in fact, a lot of money, really. <laughs> This isn't easy, and we have to make effort to achieve this dream. Besides, many begin to earn money only when they attain full maturity. Oh, that's not us. <laughs> we got it by yeah. being immature. I'm not going to tell you how to make quite a fortune in a short time. Mm. We just offer you to have a look at the world's richest children who are just lucky to be born Shout in the right family rich. or had to work almost from mm. birth. All right, here we go. Number seven. Prince Moulay Hassan. This is the king of King Mohammed V of Morocco and Princess Lala Salma. He will become the king of the strategically Morocco. important. Jeez, look at what. <laughs> you can't just I say it. You can't say it. What? <laughs> what? Well, what? I've seen it many a time. I don't like Morocco. Why? And if this young man bucks his ideas up, maybe. Maybe, maybe I'll like it. Look at security. 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 According to tradition, very soon. The boy will get 2.5 billion from like his the, father. The, the boy will get what? See, this is what I mean. But he can he can go to the Amalfi Coast for a year and smoke 100 million cigars, bro. That spoon is oh, platinum. Not bad for a 14-year-old boy, don't you think? Princess nice. George wait, wait, they Alexander. They said he's getting 2.5 bill from his dad, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Bill. The future heir to the British throne, along with the crown, can get much more than just power. With the title, George will also get assets worth a total of $1 billion, what? and this is only from his father. What can we say? The birth in the royal family has a number of significant privileges. Even if George money. doesn't become the ruling monarch, he'll receive about 400 million pounds of income from the state treasury what? each year. Because in the what? UK, taxes are used to secure the royal family. This amount is going. definitely enough to provide a charming little prince chick life. You know how like, so whenever there's... <sighs> You know, whenever there's like Love Island and everyone's like, oh, they don't do anything. Like they come out of Love Island and they're famous. They haven't done anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The royal family haven't done anything. Listen, you lot, I've I've watched a video on like the, fam the royal family's like history as well. Yeah, it's all bare tapped. It's so tapped. tapped super yeah. tapped. It's so tapped. And I've been open and saying it, right? And I know it's it's blasphemous on the royal family, but they're shit, bro. I get that it brings money to London because, but they're shit. They're so shit. I hate it. Oh, I really don't like it. And I think after like this generation and the next one people aren't gonna care bro i think once queenie make god rest her soul when she does pass i think it's a wrap bro no one's gonna care i said god rest her soul in advance <laughs> suri cruz the stylish wardrobe of suri thanks to which she traditionally belongs to the list of the most fashionable children in the world cost her parents actors tom cruise and katie holmes yeah, three million dollars what some clothes of the girls collection are especially valuable for example a Dolce and Gabbana raincoat. Like she's not having fun though, is she? Like, I don't she's know not why you buy expensive clothes for kids because they grow. You so say fast. that. You say that you're gonna buy Yeezys for your kid. 100. percent Yeezys for my kid. 100. percent My kid will wear the same kickers bro, that I wore. Best believe. Bro. Nah, kickers, best believe. Bro. My kid's going as the George. You, you, Trust you, me. You're you going as the George. Prime bro. money. You, you, you Prime gonna money. learn a day. When was the last you time learn you bought day. something from Primark? A week ago. Two weeks ago. Whenever I went to Reading or Leeds. Or what? Because you were just like, yeah, I'll buy it because I'm gonna throw it away. No, I've still oh, got them. I've got them. Nah, I've got nah, them I see you, bro. I see you, bro. The sidemen still shop at Primark. I'm not. I don't know about you, like, but I'm not. That might make like, like a. Like that. that might make like a uh, news headline you know, in the future. Bread batch headline: Sidemen still shop at Primark. <laughs> collection of dresses from other world brands. And one day at Christmas, her mother decided to surprise Surrey with a Victorian-style toy house this. with its oh, own yeah, heating, this. running water, and electricity, it's which ridiculous. prices twenty-four thousand dollars. That's not all. 
parents not only spoil the baby with gifts and clothes, she also has a personal fortune that is estimated at $270 million. Yeah, she's clear. Valentino Palomo Pino, <laughs> the daughter of actress Salma Hayek and billionaire Francois Henri Pino, has already taken part in Italian gala concerts, strolled along with her mother along the most prestigious red carpet paths, speaks fluently three languages, and is used to hey, spending what? vacations in the luxury resort of Saint nice. Bar. Her father spends a tremendous sum three of thousand dollars a month yeah. on maintaining a property in Los Angeles, recorded in the name of Valentina, and it costs twelve million dollars. Right. However, to her dad, whose fortune is sixteen point two billion dollars, this, of course, is nothing. Jaden Smith, the eldest son of actors Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, earned himself five million dollars for filming in the you know movie what? The Karate he, he Kid with Jackie Chan. That was a good film. I like that film. <laughs> it, was, it was a good film. I so happiness of happiness. Well. What a film! What great yeah. film! He appeared in the movies In the Pursuit of Happiness and The Day the Earth Stood Still. In addition to filming in the movies, the teenager receives a solid income from his rap and dance performances and selling things of his own fashion brand. As a result, the personal savings of a child workaholic exceed eight million dollars. Despite Jeez. his young age, Jaden, like the rest of the Smith family, spends considerable sums on charity. No. Well, he made his Rico own Rodriguez. Charity, he? This teenage yeah. actor hasn't well, even finished school yet, but has already made yeah, yeah. a fortune of four million dollars. The popularity of the young comedian came about from his single starring role of Manny Delgado in the Channel ABC hit series Modern Family. Also, Rico appeared in the top five feature films and released an autobiography. Isabella Barre. Wait, how has he got an autobiography already? Fuck it, done enough stuff, hasn't it? But when he's that young, he probably remembers like being a child. Maybe it's like four what? pages long. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a it's long. It's a coloring book. Millions <laughs> <laughs> through participation in beauty contests, television shows, and the releasing of her own line of jewelry and how cosmetics for like children. What's going on? The former TV uh, program participant wears dresses that cost ten thousand dollars. They're tattered. They're so weird. You've got okay, no, adult no. judging child beauty. Uh, you, know how you know how weird that is? Bro, it's worse now that you say it like that. Bro, you, the judges, are, they're not other kids that are like, yeah, you're kind of cool. It's like, it's <laughs> adults. They're going, literally going like, this child is beautiful. Just let your kid be a kid. Stop being weird. True, I agree. Yeah, I back it. And hundreds of dollars every day to maintain artificial sunburn, false what? eyelashes, and acrylic nails. The most Isabella loves shoes with heels. Her Bro. collection consists of 60 pairs. Well, that's all for now, friends. See you soon. We've smashed it there, fellas. That was a four minute, 19 second video. And I've been recording for 12 minutes. That is what Good you job, call. team. That's what you call talent. That's what you, you call talent, fellas. Wow. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Yeah. And we'll catch you next time.